Anvita, welcome back to our podcast from the Kama Sutra to 2020. We haven't done this in a while, so I'm really delighted that here we are once again together answering questions. And I'm going to go straight into the first question. So this is from a young man, and he says, I am not bisexual, but I have a certain sexual relationship with my male best friend since teenage days, though that's only once in a while because we, st- we don't um, any longer stay in the same city. When we meet, we have the urge to get intimate. Sometimes we do, and sometimes we control ourselves. Also, whenever I get the urge to masturbate, I think of him and our intimate times. Just wanted to know, is this normal? Absolutely normal. It's more than normal. And I actually, um, it's really brave of this young man to talk about it because what I would like to say to him is that most people, and it doesn't matter old, young, wherever, have experimented with somebody from the same sex who's close to them. You know, that's how we learn. That's how we figure out because it's scary going straight to, you know, an opposite sex, like a girlfriend or a boyfriend. And and the arousal or the excitement comes much younger when we might not be in relationships, but the, but the desire to experiment is there. And at that time, in most cases, it might be a cousin, a best friend, um, and it turns out to be the same sex. So it's actually more than normal. What you're talking about everybody has experienced and you could actually do a survey on it and I'll come out to be true. Yeah, literally, I think everybody experiences this at some point because I think also, like you said, when you have that first initial desire to experiment, um, it's very scary because it's a taboo subject. Nobody's actually talked about it. You don't know where those feelings are coming from. All you know is that they're very powerful feelings and you turn towards somebody that you trust and who you're close to. And that's just the easiest place to start the experimenting. And and if you think about it, you know, sometimes it happens, you have questions, you're you're wondering about certain things. Sometimes it happens uninhibited, you might touch someone or you might see somebody changing in front of you when the arousal happens. But like you said, the main thing is, you know, this is safe. You know that this person is not going to put you down or reject you or do it. So and and the pleasure is there because there's intimacy, you know, and we say that in relationships, we say that the pleasure will only be there when there's intimacy and there's intimacy in this relationship. Um, So it, it is actually really normal and very, it happens very smoothly and automatically in some ways when it does happen. I think I also would like to add that I know he says that he's not bisexual. We hear a lot of young people saying that they've experimented with the same sex person. They're not bisexual. They're not gay. And it might well be the case that you're not bisexual or not gay, but it could also be that you are bisexual. It's absolutely okay. I think there's still a certain level of fear or discomfort in your own mind about thinking that you might be slightly different. There is a certain amount of fear that still exists in people's minds. So I just want to put it out there that even if you discover in time that you are actually bisexual, that's okay too. There's nothing to be afraid of. And actually, when we look at the research, and especially there was you know lots of research done in 1960s around this, and what they found was that most people believe they were heterosexual or homosexual. And when they did the research, it actually came out that majority of people were actually bisexual. And being bisexual doesn't mean, it means that you might be attracted to somebody, you might have had a fantasy, you might have had a dream, you might have thought of having sex. And it's just, that's where we are. You know, society has made these boxes of, oh, you have to be heterosexual or you have to be homosexual. But in reality, human beings were meant to be somewhere in the middle. They were meant to be bisexual. Um, And Seema, you would know more about this We know that for centuries, people have engaged in sex with the same sex partner. Uh, A lot of them will identify as men who have sex with men. This is a very popular tradition in South America, in Africa, and even in Asia, uh, where it was a very common way of seeking pleasure and having sex with the same sex partners. And we know about 
um, you know, a lot of these traditions, even the ancient India, Greeks, the ancient Romans, etc. Everywhere. So, so there, I, I think it's more with time and the homophobia that's taken over that it's actually made people like afraid about their own sexuality and their own desire. But in reality, it's very normal to have this have these desires and I think that there are degrees of attraction that you can feel for other people you could be bisexual but be more attracted to a person of the opposite sex or you could be bisexual and be more attracted to the person of the same sex as you um, somebody actually wrote to me the other day saying I understand straight I understand gay but I don't understand bisexual what is this bisexual and it literally is like you said something that is coming more into our um my upfront mind, you know, like we were thinking about it more, people are talking about it more. And it, there is a certain amount of confusion around it. I understand it's not easy for people who come from very conservative backgrounds to suddenly sort of divert themselves and say, yeah, this is absolutely okay, it's fine. Um, but I just want to say that like with so many other things that you have found difficult to accept in the beginning, as time goes on, you will understand this better. And in the case of this young man who says that he still fantasizes about it and masturbates to that memory, you know, um, that's not unusual either because whatever the memories are that excite you, no matter how old they are, if that was pleasurable, it'll always be there to help you when you next pleasure yourself. I was actually just going to say that, you know, when we are masturbating, we always go back to experiences that have been exciting, that have been pleasurable, that have been, um, you know, that have made us feel aroused. And so if this is the pleasure memory, that's what you're going to go back to. You're, you're not going to go back to a bad sexual experience through the masturbate. You're going to go back to a good sexual experience. And that's what it is. Um, and, you know, talking about when you were saying that it's more and more normal, I actually feel very proud of the younger generations because I think the homophobia has reduced. They are way more open to gender diversity and they're way more open uh, to sexual diversity. So they don't go and say, oh my God, you know, he's gay. Like that reaction, I rarely hear with the younger generation. So because they're not hom that homophobic, they're actually more open to trying to experiment, to allowing themselves, you know, if they feel attracted to, say if a woman feels attracted to a woman, she's, she is willing to take that risk now. She's not suddenly saying, oh, you know, that's not okay. I can't go and, you know, flirt with a woman because that's not okay. They're now actually willing to go and flirt with a woman, try a relationship with a woman, um, experiment sexually with the same partner. So it's actually a really great time for young people because they are not actually holding themselves back and saying, oh, no, this is bad. Thing. They're allowing what gives them, you know, if they, if they desire something and they think that there's pleasure there, they're willing to take the risk and try it out which is wonderful, you know, it'll work sometimes, it won't work sometimes, but if at least you try it. So in closing, I think what we're both saying is that no, um, nothing is wrong with you. Yes, you're absolutely normal. And you wouldn't believe how many people actually go through exactly the same experience. Not everyone is brave enough to come forward, but hopefully you having asked this question will answer this for a lot of other people who haven't had the chance to ask us. So I hope that you found that useful and I hope that you feel a lot more comforted having heard our answers. And as always, please do comment, like, subscribe. We look forward to hearing from you and we look forward to answering more of your questions. Thank you.